We've all done it. Sometimes in the bedroom, sometimes after drinking way too much, and other times even with a costume on and outdoors if you're feeling adventurous. I'm talking, of course, about posting random, weird, or regrettable stuff on Twitter. And oftentimes in my tweet hangovers, I ask myself, when I delete the tweet, is it really deleted? Because Twitter maintains a special archive all the way back to 2006, which other people can use to access publicly available tweets. So I wanted to know, if I delete my tweet, does it also delete on the archive? And if so, how long does it take? So I did an experiment with my own Twitter account to find out. So here on my personal Twitter page, which I mostly just use for lurking, I posted this random thing back in 2015. I have no idea what this is about. Maybe there was some meme going on. So I, of course, deleted it. And when I read the message on the screen, Twitter is very specific about where it's deleted from, and they don't mention their archive API. So I decided to do a test and rerun my original search on the archive API for myself for that tweet, and I didn't see it. Twitter erased it from the archive within a matter of seconds. Wow, awesome job, Twitter. I was expecting at least an hour or day delay, but you erased it immediately. Finally, a social media company that actually seems to care about our privacy. But how do we know it's not secretly stored in another archive that's being sold to advertisers without our consent like other irresponsible social media companies? Well, as much as I trust Twitter, I did another test, this time with their different archive of your own data system which operates differently from their archive API and makes me wait 24 hours to get my data back. So here's my archive. I initiated minutes after deleting the tweet. And when I click my tweets, it's also missing. So it's not here in this archive either. Now there's no way for me to prove that it's really deleted, but I have so far found no evidence that it still remains after deleting it. So this comes down to trusting Twitter. And one of the big reasons why I trust Twitter more than other unnamed social media networks is that they offer a publicly available API for consuming their data. If they had something to hide, I don't think they would make this API public. So the problem isn't Twitter saving or deleted tweets, it's actually other people who consume Twitter data keeping a record of those tweets. See, because their API is so easy to use, Anyone can build a bot and track someone's public Twitter account and make a copy of their tweets and say, check it every hour or so. And even if you're not being directly monitored, there are still other ways to get your tweets, like from the people you follow. Let's say I wanted to scrape a list of followers from this account, which I follow. You can see the list here. There's me. Looks pretty innocent, right? No tweets. But if you use the API to scrape this account's followers, you can use the CC data endpoint or the official Twitter API, you'll see the response include every follower's most recent tweet. So if someone decides to save this database of followers, it will also include your most recent tweet. The good news is that Twitter's official developer policy says that anyone storing this type of Twitter content offline must also delete it from their records if Twitter asks them to do so or if the account holder does. But let's get real here. I'm not sure if this is actually enforced or there's a process. When I deleted my tweet, I don't think Twitter sent a notice out to a thousand companies who may have scraped and stored that tweet. Now, I hope I'm wrong and that Twitter publishes a list of tweet IDs that must be deleted to its larger partners, but I guarantee you there are a lot of smaller companies out there scraping Twitter data that probably don't follow this guideline. And when I say a thousand, I'm not exaggerating. There are a lot of Twitter monitoring companies out there who basically crawl Twitter for accounts that you tell it to, such as your competitors. And if they're scraping follower lists, like I showed you, they can often pick up other random people's most recent tweet. But this isn't new. This is just simply scraping public data, which has been around for decades. And you can check out the Wayback Machine, which is a similar system that archives almost any public page on the internet and you can browse through time. So this is no different from having your tweets being posted publicly and someone building an archive of them that you can't delete from. Well, that sure was fun. I was really impressed by how quickly Twitter deletes my tweets from all of its public facing systems. I was expecting there to be more of a delay. Awesome job, Twitter. And I hope I've shown you that the problem isn't Twitter retaining your tweets, but other people who scrape data from Twitter, either through their API or through the web, like the Wayback Machine, storing a copy of your tweets. And there's really not much you can do about it because posting publicly on Twitter is just like putting up a web page or posting anything else out there publicly. 
And the longer it's out there in the public domain is the longer time window you have for other people to snapshot or capture your public facing thoughts and tweets. So the moral of the story is if you do something regrettable on Twitter, time is of the essence and the sooner you delete it, the less chance you have for other bots of scraping it and copying it. I hope you learned something. Please like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, and check out the links on the description if you want to see more about Twitter scraping and how you can use the Steve C Data platform to do that. Take care and stay data driven.